I am super excited today to be showing you guys SpeakerBot. I feel like we can just jump right into it, guys. We're going to assume you've already installed StreamerBot. StreamerBot is a software that is used to integrate with SpeakerBot so that you can control it using points, bits, but you can have SpeakerBot standalone if you really want to. We're going to go to speaker.bot. You're going to go ahead and hit uh, get started and you're going to download it and you're going to save it anywhere you want. I'm going to save it to my desktop just because I'm a masochist. Is it free? It is absolutely free. Streamerbot is also free. So that's what makes all this so cool is that everything I'm about to teach you right now is free. And whenever I get to the more advanced section where you can actually import Google API, that's also free for a whole year. All right. So we're going to go ahead and minimize this bad boy. We're going to go ahead and hit the speaker bot bad boy right there. We're going to select all. We're going to right click and hit OK. We're going to copy right there. I'm going to create a new folder. You can create the new folder anywhere you want. Go to new folder and just call it speaker bot. Open that folder up and you're going to right click in here and you're going to paste. That's like half the battle right there. Guys, congratulations. You just installed speaker bot on your computer. Let's go. Installing speaker bot is so easy. The hard part is configuring it. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down and we're going to find the little speaker What I want to do is I just want to create a shortcut on my desktop. I love filling up my desktop. It is my favorite thing in the world. We're going to rename that because if you have shortcut at the end of your icons, Stop it. Stop putting shortcut at the end of your icons. Knock it off, okay? But it does automatically fodder. Well, you, that's why you have to rename it, you lazy person, you. Don't ever talk to me or my file shortcut copy three ever again. <laughs> right click on that. You're going to rename that. And I'm just going to get rid of shortcut and double click on it. Your computer is going to naturally want to keep you safe. So just hit more info and then run anyways, because you are your own person. And then you can go ahead and close this icon right there. Uh, that window, I mean. You know, it's not an icon, it's a window. I'm the smart one. This is SpeakerBot. The first thing we want to do is log into your Twitch account, right? Because we want it to be able to interface with your Twitch account because without that, it's kind of pointless. So you're going to go to settings, you're going to go to accounts and you're going to log in with your Twitch account. Let's go. It's going to ask you if you want to access all of this little information over here. And of course you do. Why wouldn't you hit authorize? It's been authorized successfully. Go ahead and close that browser. You now are logged in to your Twitch account. Hell yeah. We can actually start configuring it, right? If you have virtual audio cables, what you're going to want to do is go to general right here and change your audio output device to whatever virtual audio cable you have set up for your speaker bot. In my case, it's Wavelink speaker bot. But if you don't have a virtual audio cable, I will teach you how to do that as well using application audio captures. We're going to be going back and forth a lot through these different menus, but one of the very important ones is you want to hit enabled. Guys, this is the one that gets everyone. If you don't have that check mark on, you're basically running a dead program. And if you ever on accident hit silence TTS, it unchecks that box. I've seen too many times where people silence the TTS, try to save themselves from some spam in the chat, and then they forget to re-enable this. So next, what you want to do is you want to add a speech engine. This is what SpeakerBot is going to be using to actually play the text to speech. So you go to speech engines, you hit add, and then the one that is free is called Sappy5. Sappy5 is going to be that one that gives you David and Zira. The one that you always hear that sounds really jank, they can make really slow, really fast, whatever. That one's David, and it's also Zira. Zira can also do the slow jank sound. It's up to you. You want a male or you want a female talking voice? You know, the choice is yours. The next option is you want to go to speaking options. Now, this is where you can have all the different filters. You can have it ignore certain things that the chat sends. You can even have it so that you can change the TTS speaking command. You can have it so it says everything. This checkbox is very dangerous, by the way. Don't check this unless you know exactly what you're doing. Uh, you can say the username and I will demonstrate this as I go on. Down here is permissions. You can be like, hey, I only want moderators, subscribers. Subscribers, VIPs, regulars, everyone to do it. If you have say everything and you have it checked to everyone, you're gonna have a very busy headphone experience. We're also gonna add a TTS speaking command. I usually use exclamation point S, right? And you hit add and that's good to go. So I'm gonna delete those, those. Exclamation point S is simple. It's easy to follow. I feel like it's good. I also like to check this box because people have a lot of exclamation commands. So check that box and it'll ignore commands prefixed with that. And I'm gonna have all these filters on, ignore all of the those things. And I always allow the first emote. In this case, we're going to turn that off. You can't really break this bot really that easily. If you want to play with something, just check the box and see what it does. The next thing is we have to create some voice aliases, right? This is where you're going to actually assign a voice profile to a voice generator.
generator. So you're going to go to voice aliases, and this is where all the magic is going to happen for your voice alias creation. You want to name your first one default output device. You want to change that to whatever virtual audio cable you have for your speaker bot. If you don't have one, if you don't use virtual audio cables, then we can use application audio captures later on in OBS whenever I demonstrate it that way. And then after you're done selecting your output device, you are going to hit this little add button right there. Now you have a profile called default. Awesome. Now what you have to do is you have to assign an actual voice to it. You're going to go to voice, select David or Zira. I always use David. And then what can happen is you have the ability to test it. You hit test speak. This is a test message. You hear it through the virtual audio cable that you selected, or if you don't have virtual audio cables, you're going to hear it through your desktop mix. If you have a desktop mix, go to my previous video about sound pops and get rid of that. Uh, freaking guys, if you use desktop audio in your OBS, you make me so sad. Guys, do better. Improve yourselves. Can you test Zira? I want to hear. It. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Zira is this. This is a test message. So if you want to change the test message, you can type in something like, um, like and subscribe. Let's go back to David. Like and subscribe. You can do anything you want here, right? You can change the pitch. You can change the rate. Make sure you haven't hit add yet before you make these changes. If you hit add over here and then start making these changes, these changes will not take effect. Make sure you have the pitch and the rate that you want and then hit add. Now, the thing is, you can change how this bot sounds. What gets really fun is the rate. You can go up to 10 in either direction. This is a uh, speaking rate zero. This is speaking rate zero. Now, if we go up to two, for example, this is speaking rate zero. It speeds up. Let's go to five. This is speaking rate zero. Now, if we go to 10, this is speaking rate zero. now it can go in the opposite direction and then you can go slower. This is a test of the speaking rate. Let's try negative five, right? This is a test of the speaking rate. You can go all the way down to negative 10 with the rate. This is a test of the speaking rate. Now, if you want to get really fancy with it, you can see what it sounds like with an asterisk. Whenever you add an asterisk before a word, it slows that word down even more. I have found that it works with one asterisk or three asterisks. And the thing is, they're exactly the same. So save yourself some time and just use one asterisk, right? If you use two asterisks, it's going to say the word asterisk asterisk in the TTS and it's just going to be all kinds of jank. So now it's going to be the asterisk before test and the asterisk before speaking. Let's give it a try. This is a test of the speaking rate. <laughs> Another really funny one is uh, whenever people say, uh, but father, but with the asterisk before the father, here you go. But father. <laughs> For the purpose of default TTS, we can just go to uh, rate negative one or just zero for practicality sake, and then hit that little add button. Life is good. You have a default voice alias on your speaker bot, which is super cool. So if you leave it like this, there's a chance that it's gonna say, whenever you get a subscribe, it's gonna say it out loud, right? Whenever you get a follow, it's gonna say it out loud. Whenever anything happens, it's gonna say it out loud. And let's go ahead and just knock that out right now. We're gonna go to events uncheck that enabled button. That's all you gotta do. Now, if you want it to say stuff, you can select the default thing, you can enable it, and then you can be like, I'm over here now. I want it to say whenever I get a follow, a subscription bomb raid, whatever. Totally up to you. And you can even edit what it says. You can be like, hey, thank you for the follow. And then it says the name of the person. It'll say all the stuff out loud, right? With SpeakerBot, the world is your oyster. But for me personally, I just disable that sucker and I hit save. Now we can head on over to the settings again, go to general. We're going to change our default aliases. We're going to change our default voice alias to default and the default highlight voice alias to default. And then we can go back to speaking options. This is where it gets exciting. If someone would please do exclamation point S and say some words. Jank time test. Now, whenever someone does exclamation point S. Does your butt still itch? I found your ointment at the store today. And if you want to get more specific, you can do exclamation point say. You can leave those two in. It doesn't matter. What if you want to give this a ability to only your subscribers or VIPs or even moderators, right? Well, all you got to do is you got to uncheck the regulars and everyone down there. What we can do since pretty much everyone in here is subscribed a VIP or a moderator. Thank you, by the way, guys, let's go and just get rid of that save settings. And now someone tries sending in the command. It sends a message back saying you're not cool enough to have a voice because I thought this was really kind of harsh. All I did was I changed the not allowed text to you must be subscribed to use the voice 
command and then hit save. You must be subscribed to use the voice command. It's a lot nicer than saying you're not cool enough to have a voice, right? I would highly recommend you enable the URL filter. Yeet the entire message. If that person is trying to TTS a URL, then obviously they have ulterior motives. If you want to also set a limit to how long the message can be, you can set a maximum of how many words. I usually like setting this to about 35 words. Let's try, say username. Stop platinum said. Ointment Yukiburb underscore Vegas said, jank. What we can do is we can say everything. Now, every time you guys send a message, it's going to say it no matter if you do exclamation point S or not. If say everything is checked, any chat message that has exclamation before it is actually going to ignore that and not TTS it. Stop platinum said. No way, that is crazy. So I'm going to disable say everything and disable say username. What we can do now is we can give users a voice of their own. So how you do that is you go into voice aliases, right? And say Lara wants the Zira voice. You're going to create a name called Lara. Hit add, select Lara. Make sure Microsoft Zira is selected. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hit add. But this is only half of the equation. My voice. Hold on, we're not there yet. We have to assign this new profile over to Lara's Twitch account. And how you do that, click users, go to the person that you want to change the voice of. So in this case, it's Lara. Go to voice alias and change it to Lara and save settings. And now Lara will have her own voice. Now my voice and only my voice. So now you are the only one that's going to have that voice unless I give it to others. This is a really fun way to give your subscribers a fun little voice. What you can also do is you can add other speech engines. You can add the likes of Acapella Cloud, Amazon Polly, Azure, you know, 11 labs even. Google Cloud TTS. I use Google Cloud TTS a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and load up my credentials file and I hit OK. Now I have access to all of these voices from Google API. You can get really creative with this. Johnny's feeling Japanese today. So we're going to create a new one called Johnny. Hit add. It's going to create a Johnny account and we're going to go ahead and find the Japanese one, right? I'm going to find Japanese. The neural ones are really good. Add. And then we're going to go to users, click on Johnny's name, go to voice alias and Johnny. Now, whenever Johnny talks, it's going to be a full blown Japanese voice. It's going to be awesome. Oh boy, can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Speaker bot actually speaker bot has a very good tutorial on account setup. And then you can go to speech engine setup on the bottom right here. And it has instructions for a lot of the different services. You have one here for Google cloud, all these different ones, even 11 labs. They have one for 11 labs. That's pretty freaking cool. What you do is you follow these instructions for Google cloud. And honestly, these instructions are super good. And it lasts 12 months, 12 months for free. You can have access to the entire Google Google Cloud sound library for voices. We're going to go ahead and I go to bot <laughs> If you want to find the list of engines, you can go to Google Cloud Voice List and you can go to Supported Voices and Languages. And here is the massive list of all of the different voices you can choose from. So that's really it with SpeakerBot. The next thing we got to do is we got to show you guys how to set it up with application audio capture sources in OBS if you don't have access to virtual audio cables. Here we go. Settings general, set that to your headphones. So what we're going to do, you're going to create an application audio source in your OBS sources. Uh, you're going to go down here into your sources. You're going to right click. You're going to add and you're going to go to application audio capture beta. And let's name this speaker bot and then hit OK. Name is already in use. Oh, speaker bot TTS Then go to OK. And then right here, you're going to choose what window it is. You're going to choose speaker bot and then you're going to go down here and hit OK. And then you're going to have a speaker bot TTS option. So now whenever someone does exclamation point S and does the speaker bot, it's going to send through this audio channel, this device right here. Hit me baby one more time. You guys can hear that, right? Yes, we can hear. That's how you do that without virtual audio cables. The only problem that I found is whenever you shut down speaker bot and you bring it back open, you're going to have to reset this to the correct window. But that's a small price to pay if you don't have virtual audio cables, which is totally fine. 0.1.2.3.4.5. See, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys how to ban users from using SpeakerBot. Go to your SpeakerBot users, and then Luke Telly decided that they wanted to play with fire. So now they are ignored. Save. And they can't use SpeakerBot anymore. This isn't that great. <laughs> Smooth like butter transition there. So proud. Thank you. <laughs> hey, man, I'm just doing the Lord's work over here, teaching people how to ban users in SpeakerBot. <laughs> I missed it all. Can you start over? 
now what we're going to do is we're going to create a way for point redemptions to be used as TTS. So someone redeems a point redemption and TTS spits it out and that's it. If you don't want exclamation point S and you want point redemptions instead, we can totally do that. All right, let's head back into SpeakerBot. Let's go ahead and go to actions right here and right click and add anywhere you want. And then we're going to create something called TTS point redeem, right? I have a group called point redemption. So we're going to go and use that and then hit OK. And your triggers, you're going to go ahead and right click in here, go to Twitch, then channel reward and then reward redemption, right? You're going to create a reward. And this is where you're going to actually create a point redemption. Streamer bot actually has the ability to manage and create point redemptions for you. So let's get started. In your channel point reward, we're going to call this TTS, right? And for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to only make it one point and say anything you want. You're going to go to user input required, check that box, and then global cooldown. We'll do 10 seconds just to make it so that people aren't going crazy with it. And then hit OK, then hit OK. So now you have a trigger of a Twitch channel reward. Go down here to sub actions, right click, go to speaker bot, speak voice alias, select the voice alias that you want. In my case, it is default. Check the delay button. One once you have checked delay, you're going to have the message called raw input. If you want to say that the user said something, you can say user said, that's all it is. And then hit OK. Now you have a sub action speaker bot, speak and wait. And that's really it. Sorry, I almost forgot. Double click on the sub action and say pass through bad word filter. Hit OK. Now the bad word filter can be found in speaker bot. Go to replacement and then you can put in bad words that you don't want the audience to say. I chose to yeet the entire thing and you can put in a bunch of crazy things in there. I'm not going to say them out loud, but you know what I'm talking about. There are certain words that you do not want the audience to say over TTS. So that is how you turn TTS into a point reading. What we're going to do next is we are actually going to use bits to do a TTS. We're going to go ahead and create a new action add, and this is going to be cheer TTS. And you have a new action called cheer TTS. The trigger, you right click in here, go to Twitch, go to chat, and then cheer. Set a value of one, because if you guys want to test this out, I don't want to rob you guys and then hit OK. And then now you have your trigger of one bit in your sub actions, right click, go to speaker bot, speak, hit the delay button, change the voice alias to default. Your message is going to be percent sign message cheer motes stripped percent sign hit OK. Now, whenever someone cheers one bit and a message after that, it should say the TTS out loud. Mr. Underscore Hurl said I made bits out of trees. This way you can get the naughty bits and it's still TOS. Oh, the naughty bits because trees have knots. That is how you create a TTS with a cheer. Now, this is highly requested. How the hell do you make a slow TTS with channel points? All right, here we go. Let's head on over to SpeakerBot. Let's create a voice alias and we're going to name this one slow and then hit add select your profile and then what you're going to do is you're going to go down and you're going to find the david one microsoft david desktop sappy five and then you're going to change the rate to minus 10. this is what the fun part is you hit the add button save settings let's head on over to streamer bot are you guys ready oh i know i am you are going to right click in your streamer bot actions go to add and then you're going to name it slow tts the group is going to be point redemptions you can put it in whatever you want for organizational purposes, that is totally fine. I already have one called slow TTS, so I'm going to call it slow TTS2, right? Go to your triggers. You're going to right click, go to Twitch, channel reward, reward a redemption. You're going to create a reward called slow TTS. In my case, slow TTS2, because I already have one called slow TTS. You're going to give it a cost. This needs to be very expensive because people can send in the longest messages and you will have five minutes of slow TTS and it's going to kill your chat and ruin your vibe and you'll have past five minutes not knowing what to do with yourself. So cost is a thousand points. Once you select your cost, you're going to have a user input required and the prompt is type what you want to say here, put an asterisk, um, one of these bad boys for extra emphasis before words. And then I would have it so the global cooldown is like five minutes. So 300 seconds, go ahead and hit OK. Now you have a new reward redemption called slow TTS. In my case, it's slow TTS too, because I already have a redeem called slow TTS. Hit OK. Perfect. Go to your sub actions, right click in there, go to speaker bot, not speak UDP, but speak. This will only work with the newest version of streamer bot. So if you have only speak UDP, well, I'm sorry. 
So go to speak and then voice alias. This voice alias is going to be called slow because if you guys remember in your voice aliases, you're going to have the same name that you put in here in your voice alias for speaker bot. So it's going to be slow. I'm going to check the delay button and the message is going to be raw input. Hit OK. That's it. Are you winning father? <laughs> I think I'm having a strong can you put random voices for random people? So for your voice to be completely random, go pick your profile that you want to have the randomness on. In this case, default, and we're going to do random voice and save. Let's go. Like my hope voice father. I have a voice and he will be heard. You hear me, father? Ompa dupa yarwin kardin kardo, bok bok bok. Swedish chef voice. That was so Swedish. So Millennium Akuma chose violence and wants the option not only to have a hundred percent in the ear only speaker bot, but the option to show it off to the rest of the stream whenever someone does exclamation point S and then it shuts back off and goes back to your ears again. This trick is going to require the newest version of streamer bot. Let's do it. First things first, you want to connect streamer bot to speaker bot. In speaker bot, go to integrations go to the right where you see speaker bot and then turn on auto connect and auto reconnect you're going to go to back down to speaker bot and then you're going to go into websocket server you're going to hit auto start and start server now speaker bot is actually accepting connections now from streamer bot here's how we do that oh dear god i'm in the way <laughs> i'm in the way you have speaker bot right here the auto starts turned on start server and it's on you're going to go back to streamer bot and you're going to see that it's connected if it's not connected hit connect and it'll say disconnect at that point now speaker bot is actually directly connected to streamer bot right now and this is very important for what we're about to do this is going to be a science experiment i'm not going to lie to you first off you want to go to actions in streamer bot, right click anywhere and hit add a uh, chat TTS. And then for group, we're going to call it TTS. This is just for organizational purposes. You don't have to use this and then hit OK. We're going to go to chat TTS, go to triggers. We're going to right click and we're going to go to core commands and command triggered, right? And we're going to create a command and we're going to name it TTS. And the command is going to be exclamation point S. You can leave everything else the way it is if you want. Doesn't matter. You can make it so it's subscribers only, VIPs, maybe moderators, just whoever you want to be able to use this command. Otherwise, if you do not make it from available to allowed, it's going to be enabling it for everyone in the chat. And that's not what you want, right? And you hit OK. And then you hit OK again for command triggered. Now you have a trigger in here that is for exclamation point S. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that the application audio source turns itself on says what the user wants to say and then turn itself back off so that it's no longer out loud again what you're going to do is you're going to go down to sub actions you're going to go to obs sources set source mute state so select the scene that your speaker bot tts is in and then you're going to select speaker bot tts the source and you're going to make it so that it's not muted hit okay and you're going to right click again you're going to go to speaker.bot going to go to speak not speak udp but speak this is very important voice alias select the name of the voice alias you want to use remember how we use default well, that's what we're going to be using. This name can be anything from your voice aliases list right here. But default, I like using default for pretty much everything. So go down to Sturabot again, and you have a voice alias of default. Check this box. Delay. Absolutely check this box. This is critical. This is critical. The message in here is raw input, lowercase raw, uppercase input. You're going to hit OK. Right click on the sub action. Go to duplicate sub action. Double click on the new one that just made. Go ahead and mute. And then just to be safe, you want to add a little delay of maybe half a second. This number is in milliseconds, so 500 milliseconds is half a second. Hit OK, and you're good for that. What you want to do is you also want to add cue blocking to this. So you don't want multiple people to be stepping on top of each other whenever like multiple people want to be using TTS at the same time. So that is called cue blocking. Go to action cues and you're going to go to cues. Right click anywhere in here, go to add and you're going to name this TTS. Check the box called blocking because what this is going to do is it's going to stop the same action from stepping on top of itself. 
yourself. Hit OK. Go to Actions. Go to Chat TTS. You're going to right click on that, buddy. Go to Q and then go all the way down to that Q that you just created. For you, it might be near the top, which is fine. And select that TTS one. So now in your Actions, you're going to have Chat TTS right there. And you're going to have a Q of TTS. Let's go on over to SpeakerBot. So go to SpeakerBot. Go to Speaking Options. You're going to delete the exclamation point save. You're also going to delete the exclamation point S. You also want to make sure say everything is, is checked. Save settings. So now whenever people say things, only I'm going to be able to hear it. But whenever you do exclamation point S, it's going to unmute that. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you. Here is OBS right here. Someone do exclamation point S for me, please. Jankin and Testin, another one. It disables itself after you do the exclamation point S. It says it out loud. It's good to go. And then it mutes itself and you can still hear it in your own ears. You have to do exclamation point S now to be able to hear it for the audience. You don't want to have it so that everything you say goes through the speaker bot. You're just going to have it go to ignored right there. That's all you're going to do. You also don't want the likes of blurp to say anything. You can have other things like Pokemon community game you can have it so that that's ignored as well. So whenever those people talk, they will not come through your headset. Safe settings, all is good in the world. We are done here now. Just everybody go home.